hello everybody today we are gonna learn Linux in less than 30 minutes yes so basically we are gonna see Ubuntu 20.10 and uh, this is their official website and I just downloaded the latest uh, 2.5 GB package so you just need to go to head over to download and 20.10 Ubuntu desktop that's that's the one which you need to do alright so let me show you how it looks I customize it a little bit and if I go to my settings and if I go to, uh, to my about section this is my device name this is these are all my details and it's a 64 bit and it's Ubuntu 20.10 that's groovy gorilla alright now no time wasting let's go to the terminal so in order to open terminal you can there's a two ways you can open via clicking the icon and then typing T R M I N A L terminal like that or you can simply hit control alt T that's how you open a terminal and in order to, uh, once you open the terminal to shift the terminal towards the right or the tiling you can hit the windows button and the right so that's how you get styled on the right hand side if you want to tile on the left hand side then hit on windows and left button it gets tiled on the left hand side so anyways that's how the tiling factor works how do you increase the font size well in order to increase the font size you just hit control shift plus 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 and that's how you keep on increasing the size of the font and in order to, in, in order to decrease the font size you just need to hit, hit control and minus not control and shift just control minus minus that's it okay now you see this is the host name Acopedia is basically the host name host name is nothing but the name of the computer where the computer is being talking to the other computers nearby this is my name or the user the current user who is logged in and I'll show I'll get back to it in a little bit a, mo a moment of time so if you type host name you will see it's spitting out Acopedia so Acopedia that means that the host name is Acopedia now how sh should I prove that who is logged into the system so you need to type who am I if you type who am I that's Akash that's me so that's the current user who is logged in now let's type few other cool terminals cool uh, terminal commands let me just uh, zoom this a bit and show it to you okay so you can type uname r so uname r shows the kernel version that's 5.8.0 uh, that's fairly the latest you can go to the site and krnel kernel dot org and just have a look and I think it's 5.9.11 the latest release at a time of making this video 5.8 is a stable one anyways so you can also hit the arrow keys the up and down keys to cycle the old commands which you have just typed in so that saves pretty much amount of time so you can type uname a a as in all so it, the information spitted is a bit more handy let me just show it to you it shows the operating system the time the date the 64-bit version and the flavor everything so that's the one command the other command is you can type lsb underscore release hyphen a that's a new command under this command you can find the name of the operating system the version and the code name well that's cool right so that's one of the things other thing is like you can uh, show a screen fetch so like if I type screen fetch f e t c h um, it's not there so I need to type this command in order to install it so I'll just right click it I'll copy I'll paste it over here and I just type in my password and boom let me just install it <coughs> and how how should I clear the screen 
in order to clear the screen you can type CLEAR that clears the screen or the other way to clear the screen is to hit control plus L yes so like if I type screen fetch see how cool it will look look at this it shows almost all the information the theme which I'm using almost all the given information if I want to clear this I just hit control L wow this is cool amazing anyways getting further now we will see uh, how to uh, play around with the file system so uh, first of all uh, we, uh, we need to know which current directory we are working in so we need to type pwd that's print working directory it will show that this is our directory home akash that's where the directory is so again <coughs> we can change the directory so if, uh, if we want to go one directory behind we can type cd space dash dash you can go one directory behind so you can see it has gone to home directory and so I can prove it by typing pwd and I'm in the home directory now also we can type cd that can automatically go to my home directory that's another thing and there's another way um, suppose if I'm into say etc slash uh, say some other path and I need to go directly to my root di uh, home directory I can type cd space tilde yes you can see I enter into my home directory as simple as that so that those are the basic commands now I'll show you how to navigate into the directory control L to clear the screen and um, to list the file you can type ls so you can list the file if you type ll you can list the file in a different manner so suppose I control the, I just clear the screen now if I type ls space hyphen l that will give me a long list of reading so you can see these are the folders and these are this is an argument which I've given L for long listing now suppose I want to make it in, in more human readable format I'll give it ls hyphen L H let's see you can see it's written in more human readable format all right now we'll get back to the rest of the things later now let's see how do we uh, change directory so suppose if I want to enter this directory called download so I can directly go to CD slash so downloads so like yeah downloads and I can just read my files it's as simple as that now I can clear my screen if I want to make a fresh new file I can type the word called touch so t o u c h touch test dot t x t file I can create it now we can search what is touch so it will show us touch can change file timestamps so by using touch command we are making uh, empty files so we can just list them and you can see the test file has been created the test file is empty so let's fill something inside it so like I'll be using uh, let's open the file so there are various uh, editors like cat is for concatenate so we can search what is cat so like uh, what is cat cat is like concatenate files and print on the standard output so I think there is nothing inside test dot txt is empty so let's echo something so if I like echo and if I redirect and say hello India and like you know and if I just want to catch say do the similar thing 
uh, cat from etc slash uh, password to um, test.txt now if I go to cat and go to test.txt you can see we can read all the files which are shown over here so that's one thing I would like to show so secondly uh, there's uh, the, the editors are like vim and uh, nano so like what is nano nano is what is nano nano is another editor in spite of pico so like I can also nano test.txt it will show us the same thing you just need to play around over here want to exit hit on control and see over here exit you can hit on exit so vi is also the same thing vi test.txt if I type i to insert you can keep on inserting suppose you want to delete something you can delete something you can press on escape q q enter that's it so these are few of the editors which you can use I won't be going in much of the details for them as of now so this is one of the thing second thing we can learn is uh, how to update your system so you need to become a root user so you can become sudo sudo is for super user do hyphen i and then you become the root after entering the password in order to update your system type update apt update apt is for uh, advanced packaging toolkit apt update so automatically the packages will be updated as you can see all my packages are up to date so I need not update anymore um, so uh, you can also type apt upgrade uh, up so that's another thing uh, you can also type this command just make a note of that apt update and an apt upgrade hyphen y that's the entire command string which ca you can do in one shot so that's the thing um, now how do you exit from root well to exit from root you can hit on control D or you can hit uh, the cross button over here which is not that much advisable but control plus D or you can type exit so, so that's the thing and let me just zoom in once again for you just a moment okay so now I'll show you how to play with processes so suppose if I'm pinging www.google.com the process is still going on and on and on and on if I want to cancel this process I type control C it will cancel it can see up till now nine packets have been transferred so one two three four five six seven eight and nine packets have been trans transmitted suppose if I want to keep the background task running I can hit on control Z you can see it has stopped but actually on the foreground the task is running so I can bring it on and then hit on control C and that's how it's been cancelled so that's the thing guys I hope you enjoyed it uh, I'll be coming up with pretty more videos thank you for watching bye